kid at my school had a copy of Thrasher. He was like an older kid and it had Mike Muir at Suicidal Tendencies on the cover. And it had like loads of Robert Williams paintings inside and it was like everything about this. You know, and this is like, I'd not seen kids skateboarding. I didn't really know about it. But I saw this magazine and this whole culture in this magazine. And because, you know, you didn't know, it wasn't like a skate shop nearby that you go and hang out with or anything. It was just like this weird, like, document. It's like the Dead Sea Scrolls. And that was my first exposure to it. It was like this one copy of Thrasher that he then lent me. And I took home and I just kind of went through it all and tried to kind of decode it. Because I didn't know people other than this guy that you could talk about that thing with from what sort of skating opened up to me. Culturally, my in to skateboarding was artwork. But yeah, it's just funny that it was this sort of thing that wasn't cool. It wasn't an accepted thing to do. It was a kind of still seen as a kid's thing to do. And yet it had this really deep culture that, that you know, once you knew about that culture, you felt you were into something. <laughs> 